That demon was actually doing some good in the world. <laughs> he sent them back. <laughs> YouTube. It's your boy Bobby Chill and if you're new, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're not new, if you're one of those who have already subscribed, I appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the comments you've been leaving. Uh, those of you who have commented and left uh, either feedback or little tidbits on the show's characters, I appreciate that. So thank you. And without spoiling, I really appreciate that. But yeah, we're here for another reaction, another episode of this show that's been epic so far. I know you guys are loving it. I'm sure it seems like you can tell hopefully that I've been loving it. Um, we got another one. This one's called uh, Neil Armstrong. Eat your heart out. So are we getting another space scene? Are we going to see Thrag again? Uh, hopefully I like his character. But yeah, I've been I've been thinking about this show since last week. Unfortunately, we only got one this week, but whatever, I'll take it. So of course, I couldn't stop thinking about Omni Man. I'm still wondering what's going on with him. I I guess I got it narrowed down. I'm probably reaching to three things. So the twins, the blue twins, I keep forgetting their name, but they proved that clones are a thing. So maybe he's cloned. I know his wife Debbie uh mentioned that he's always going off and sometimes he's gone for a long time, sometimes he comes back quick. Could it be possible that he went to another world universe and a clone came back instead of him? So I'm thinking maybe that's a possibility. Uh, second, he's crazy. Uh, third, um, maybe this vitramite DNA is kind of like a blessing that's also a curse type thing. Maybe it's because I. Someone in the comments, I think it was, was it NPC? I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm forgetting your name. But uh, you mentioned that older they get, the slower they age. That doesn't seem to correlate with what I'm thinking. But maybe, yeah, maybe the DNA is just a curse and a blessing at the same time. So that could be a thing. And then I know I mentioned Amber I commented on her jewelry. I don't know if that's anything but I did actually I did notice that Debbie wears a triangle necklace too so I'm um, like again I said I'm, I'm reaching but I'm trying to figure things out as we go um so maybe there's a correlation there but there's a big age gap there so maybe she has some kind of connection with Amber's parents or mother we haven't seen them yet but I guess that could be a possibility and then another thing I've been thinking about, or this past week, I was just sitting there and I was like, where the hell did Robot come from? He, I mean, he, no one birthed him. He didn't come out of, pop out of thin air. So someone has to be controlling him. But I would have thought that would have been like Cecil. But obviously he recruited him. He's been watching him. He recruited him to recruit the new team for the Guardians of the Globe. So, yeah, obviously he didn't create him. So I'm wondering where exactly Robot came from. Who's calling the shots for him? Who's controlling him? And from where? Maybe I'm reaching on. Maybe he is just a robot. I don't, I don't know. But... Nonetheless, I'm excited. I don't know. Like I said, the name of the episode says Neil Armstrong, eat your heart out. I'm assuming that's referring to the astronaut. So, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to spend some time in space. I don't know if we'll get any of the new guardians that have been recruited to the team. Maybe this will just focus on Mark here and maybe he'll do some training in space. Uh, finally learn how to stay up there longer. I don't know, but. Yeah, I'm hoping we see a little bit more of the recruits for the Guardians of the Globe. Uh, I don't, ha I don't know all their names yet, but the obviously Rex, Eve, kind of rejected the request to join the team. Monster Girl, uh, and then the other teammates. But yeah, I'm excited to see what we get here. So that's enough of me talking. Let's just get straight into it. 
because I'm excited for it. Are we going to get some more blood and guts at the beginning of the episode? I don't know, but we'll see. Let's get into it. Yeah. This one's only 16 plus. The last one was 18 plus, I think. Oh, yeah. And Dark Blood seems to be getting a little reckless. He just popped in the, into Nolan's house last episode or at the end. I'm wondering if Nolan will end up killing Dark Blood. Yeah, there's that necklace because she's been she's been acting fishy. So she's got to be up to something, right? Maybe it has no tie to Amber, but she's up to something. I feel like she's got to know something or I don't know. Did the animation change? That truck looked different. Who is this? What's that logo? A little spider logo. We got a new group organization. Oh, bu building pyramids. <laughs> Black Adam. <laughs> oh, they're not building. They're just excavating. I would not be walking down there. You got all these workers for you. Send them down. <laughs> They're expendable. <laughs> Soon you will once again teach uh -oh. this world what it means to truly suffer. There's that logo. This looks like, is this going to be our first like major adversary? Is that Mamra? Shout out to the Thundercats. <laughs> He's resurrecting a whore. Who the hell is this? What was that? Messing up the desert, sorry. Damn. I'm, I'm never going to get tired of this an animation. I can't believe I still have to exercise. And I love that man. They're just, even though they're superheroes, super powered, they're still humanizing them. They still have to condition and all that. I like that. That kind of gets lost in the weeds with superheroes in general. They get their powers and they're just good to go. Where's Mount Everest? It's the high one. <laughs> he really needs a refresher in geography. Hmm. <laughs> He's still working on that landing, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> oh, he said, we heard him say in that time. He didn't say the whole thing, but are we working our way up to that? Is he going to say the whole word by the end of the series? Keeping the universe safe, living up to our people's heritage. It takes sacrifice. That's what I'm trying to teach. He's throwing me off so much. I keep falling into this trap of he's a good dad and a good guy. Even though I know in the back of my mind, he murdered a whole bunch of superheroes before I could even really learn their names. <laughs> Uh oh, here's Speed Rush's wife. She's so digging. searching for the killer. Is he? No one is in jail. No one is on the news. I am moving back to Moscow. Is she really? I thought she was going to dig deeper. I didn't think she would run away. I, I'm going to keep harping on that necklace because I feel like this show feels like the, the writing is so tight and things are just meaningful. Everything you're saying. I feel like that means something and her and Amber, the only ones that have those necklaces, I believe. I don't think I've seen anybody else with them on. Maybe I'm wrong. What you doing? Hmm. Close that shit. Don't let him see that. <laughs> he gonna lose it. Yeah, you tell me everything. It's not a date. Amber and I are just hanging out. Try not to sweep the girl off her feet too much. Mmm. Let him have the rest of that wine. Ooh. Would say we go out too. Can let a couple of teenagers show us up. Olga wants me to sell her house. She thinks there's a conspiracy around the murders. Yeah, she needs to quit drinking. Ah, oh, as you take a sip. Mm -mm. Seems like she's start. Well, yeah, she's definitely getting suspicious. I don't know if she was already suspicious or if Dark Blood just raised those questions for. Her. You done any traveling? Mm, just today. <laughs> wow, those are cool boxes. They're called balls. Maybe this is your lucky 800. What the hell? You can get a PS5 from a scalper for cheaper than that. <laughs> what you sipping on dark blood? Is that blood? <laughs> We're in my house. Uh oh. You murdered seven people. Maybe it was you. Maybe you came to finish the job you started with the Guardian. Who do you think they're going to believe? Me or you? I love this dynamic. Every scene with these two just talking is amazing so far wife already suspects how long until son does too mm -mm. go fuck yourself dark <laughs> look at the number on his door what you about to do you about to make another clone they got the best music in the show they got a theme song for every scene <laughs> or i can't say they he since you killed your clone his costume reminds me of mr terrific I don't know. I keep comparing to other shows. I feel like I would like to hear what Robert Kirkman's. What the hell? 
I was going to say, I'd like to know what Robert Kirkman's uh, motivation or inspiration for the comic was. If he just kind of, it seems like he picked from a lot of different things, but I wonder exactly what triggered the want to make this story. He's mixing. What the hell are, is in those patties? Were you what up, man? Rex? You cheating motherfucker. <laughs> Welcome. To our new digs, baby. Okay, I'm glad we're getting some more of them. I gotta remember all their names. So we got Robot, Rex, Duplicate, the one, the chick with like the Ant-Man slash Adam powers is probably my favorite, but... An original member of the Guardians of the Globe. You'll do what? Probably explode something. Ooh, maybe you nuts. <laughs> hey, Cecil, missed a spot? I was about to say, they cleaned this place up well, but they missed something. Oh, left that one there as a reminder. Damn, it's messed up. You know what? All those other heroes, total assholes anyway. <laughs> Are they gonna be besties now? Watch them start dating or something. She, she's twenty-four, right? She said. I'm glad we have an understanding. Ow! I must have pinched a nerve. I forget how soft humans are. Damn. Took it. He took his blood. What's he gonna do with that? Don't you dare shush me. Who's listening? Oh. Sorry. I meant to teleport to your front door. This thing isn't exactly Swiss in its precision. I almost killed you. Almost? I feel like he knew that was Cecil. And he did, did that on purpose. I expect to feel the same way next time. When you plan the date. Mmm. But I'm sure something bigger is going to come up. He not going to make that date. <laughs> there you go, Mark. Ooh. <laughs> Why are you so shocked? Y'all were already making out on the bed. <laughs> nice landing. Must be the shoes. <laughs> you think people are going to care about Mars if there's an attack on Earth and I'm not here to save them? You really want the people to depend on you. How fast is he going to go after these new guardians? I guess this is the part where I volunteer. I don't think he would kill kids, right? I can zip up to Mars and be back tomorrow. The fact that you don't know <laughs> how far away Mars is, is exactly why you shouldn't be missing school. He don't know where a lot of places are. <laughs> you need to decide what kind of hero you want to be. Mm. What's that about? She's really pushing things for him to become this hero. Nolan kind of seems to be holding him back a little bit, even though he's been really heavily training him. If you're going to tell Amber the truth, you better be serious about her. <laughs> Are you serious about her, Mark? You're asking a lot of questions. You getting jealous? We about to see her parents for the first time? Mark? I know you didn't pay for that. Oh, you messing up, Mark. Mm-mm. You spending too much money too soon, my guy. Going away and helping people for two weeks. Okay, Mark, you get you getting a little better at lying. <laughs> Where are you going? You know, it's deserty. <laughs> lying still needs some work. Maybe no one should be training him on that. <laughs> there are Martians? Martian man. Are we talking about the Flaxons? Make sure our astronauts get home safe. Oh, <laughs> there go Vulture. <laughs> you wrecked your shit. Ever since Mark got his powers, you've been different. Mm. You're hiding something from me, and it hurts. I never thought I would have a family, and I love you. Man, I, I, I can't tell when he's lying and when he's not. <laughs> but when I see Mark with his powers, Mark really needs to take to some notes. I'm terrified I could lose. Oh yeah, you lie. Mm -mm. You don't, you even care about the Guardians. This dude is cold-blooded. You asked me what we do. We do this. You do a lot of things. <laughs> Are they in Rome? Why are you doing all this? Trying to get in her good graces so she doesn't keep digging? Do we Have we already been introduced to any of these astronauts? You guys I think see these are all new characters. Maybe not the best color scheme for this mission. Ooh, he's not going to get different color suits, is he? Taking pics for Instagram. Tight. Really? It's, it's something gonna happen to Amber. She gonna die. <laughs> so, something's gonna happen. This show's too bloody and for everything to end up happy. <laughs> Maybe they have a charger in the shuttle? You better not go on that ship. You already failed the mission. What the hell, Mark? Julius Caesar reduced to that. <laughs> sure, he makes a lot of money doing that, too. <laughs> I heard hobos make like 80k a year 
in Las Vegas. <laughs> you ain't about to come fast. Cecil thinks I had something to do with what happened to the Guardian. This could get bad. I'm surprised she didn't ask him he survived. Why doesn't he know who attacked? I guess he was in a coma, so he could have lost his memories. Do something! I'm on vacation with my beautiful wife. Let Cecil earn his paycheck. It's another... They're just going to build a kaiju army. <laughs> man, this dude's walking in houses without a care in the world. He reminds me of bro, man, from the fifth floor. If you don't know him, Google. <laughs> but if you Google him, watch a video. Don't just look up who it is. He doesn't look like him. <laughs> See, so. Mm -mm. No one warned us about you. There you go, creating another sandstorm. What you doing? You ain't going to be able to see nothing in a minute. Oh, I thought his storm was gonna cover up all the tracks or something. Or maybe it is. Nice. Oh, it helped him. Mmm. I thought one got in his mask. It sounded like it went into his mouth or something. Is that like their brain on top? What is... They look like one of the... I forget his name. The, the stretchy dude from the Guardians of the Globe. Who I thought his heart was like a pimple. <laughs> he looks like him. They wearing his colors? Oh, it looked like it from above. If you don't mind, we'll get out of your hair. Maybe keep your little squid dogs under control this time. The sequids are the very reason I captured your people. Is that is that Digi D Digimon Hansu? Is that his name? The guy from Blood Diamond? The single sequid fuses with one of your people. Oh. The humans are scheduled for immediate execution. I understand. Huh? <laughs> How do you get him out of there? Should have used that dust cloud as a distraction or created more dust. Mmm. <laughs> uh oh. You about to take them all out? Nice. Move a little faster, Mark. Move a little faster. Nice. That's not going to be the last we see of them, is it? Are they going to show up on Earth? Oh, snap. Mm-mm. What? They, what the hell is happening in there? Oh, hey, oh what are y'all doing? <laughs> Don't ask. Yes, what Donald found when we searched your office. Dried blood. Mm -mm. Did Nolan? Planted. Oh, snap. No Nolan way. tried to frame him. I know, but I have to oh, do this knows. anyway. Do what? Oh, exercise him? Is he sending him back to hell? Never thought you'd be the one to protect him. He does know. He's not just suspicious, I guess. Oh, what the hell? That demon was actually doing some good in the world. <laughs> he sent him back. Damn, I, I hope he comes back. Why am I rooting for a demon to come back? What? <laughs> Y'all made a mess, huh? Put the gloves on for, uh, whoa, what is, <laughs> what is that? Oh, this is Olga's house. I thought it, I thought it was their living room. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Chew up to robot. Getting a little suspicious. He's spying on people. Cecil's right hand man. What? What the hell was that? Phase one of what? Oh, did you talk to Cecil? Yeah, get this. Some new evidence came up. Is that a videotape or a recorder? Everything's fine. Mmm. Dark blood. He left behind a recorder. It looks like we got any. Oh, no crazy end scene or post credit scene this time. Doesn't look like. I'm. I'm gonna wait it out just in case. <laughs> Just in case this scroll bar is failing me. Let's see. God damn. Another good episode, man. I love this show. Shout out to Skybound, man. Okay, so yeah. That's episode four. Another great one. Uh, a little bit more tame. We finally got... Uh, well, Mark finally got his first Cecil appointed mission to Mars, which he kind of failed. Well, he definitely failed. He lost track of him. They ended up getting one of those aliens attached to him. So something's going to go wrong. Earth is in a little bit of trouble now, it seems like. I don't know how, 
powerful they are exactly, what damage they can do, but uh, he hyped them up, so I'm expecting them to do a lot of damage. I guess we'll see about that. Dark Blood, he's back in hell now. Cecil sent him back. I don't know why. Obviously, he seems to be protecting Nolan for whatever reason. I'm, I'm confused on that dynamic, on that situation. Uh, on one hand, he... He's kind of against him because he knows he can't control him and which is why he didn't recruit him to recruit the new guardians of the globe or maybe he just didn't do that because he knows that he killed the old guardians of the globe at the beginning of the episode we got some type of creature new foe uh i don't know who or what that is the mummy that popped up out of the tomb so he's gonna pop up we got him we got these starfish people who are taking over bodies i wonder if it's going to spread to other people or if it's just going to be that one astronaut that gets effect infected i don't know how fast they like reproduce i guess but yeah mark seems to be in love he's he's getting presents for amber he's head over heels it seems like i'm wondering i'm I, i'm not thinking i'm i don't know what to think with this show honestly besides that we're going to get something epic in the next episode and all these next episodes. And I did find out it is eight, I believe, this first season. So looking forward to the rest of those. But yeah, he seems to be over heels for Amber. Uh, I'm wondering if something's going to end up happening to her, if she's going to die. If she's going to get hurt, attacked, mixed in with his, I don't know, his adversaries. It has to happen at some point, right? Um, Debbie seems to be getting a little bit more suspicious. Well, she questioned Nolan. It seems like he kind of lied his way out of that to ease some tension. I don't know if she's fully on his side now and believes him 100%. But she has been digging in more into Dark Blood. So I'm guessing he's just like in the back of her mind. Just like causing her to think this way about Nolan. But then again, she's kind of been up and down i feel like she's been because she's been noticing the way he's he's been changing his attitude and how that's been changing so i think she was already worried or concerned about what was going on with him and then dark blood just kind of furthered that so she's taking heed to dark blood's word cecil is just ignoring it and went to the depths of sending him back to hell i don't know what that was about uh he he called him to get answers he's starting to get some answers and then he sends them back so i don't i don't know maybe he just wanted him to kind of confirm that nolan killed the guardians but i have no clue why he would want to protect nolan or not obviously he can't give this out to the public because nobody would believe him but i don't know why he's going to such length i don't know what's going on um and I'm wondering how or if Olga's going to come back into play because I, I kind of thought she was going to play a big role. I don't know how she, she was just a girlfriend of Speed Rush, but the way she reacted at the funeral, it kind of felt like she was going to start digging to get answers, maybe teaming up with somebody. And... I guess it doesn't seem like there's anybody she could partner up with to kind of invest investigate because Cecil seems to be having his own motivation and covering his tracks and covering tracks for Omni-Man even. So I don't know what she could have done, but I thought she was going to play a bigger role. And at some point I thought she was going to get close to getting answers and then maybe Nolan would end up killing her for getting close. But I guess she's she left the country or at least she's saying she left the country. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing if she comes back or if that leads to something else. But so I guess for now, that theory of her doing something is out the window for me. And the voice recorder, obviously, the big moment where Cecil sent uh, Dark Blood back to hell. Happened near the end of the episode. Who it will he come back for that? It's gonna catch something. It got a little bit at the end of the episode. At some point, it's gonna catch Nolan saying something that lends to the case or that indicts him, basically. Um, so I'm wondering how 
Dark Blood is gonna come back. I'm still iffy on how he is summoned, I guess. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting more on that. And then what the hell is phase one Ro robot? What are you talking about? <laughs> this little deformed baby. Is that is that a clone or a failed clone? Is that what is that? I, I tried to make out what it looked like or who it looked like, but it was nothing. I don't phase one begins. I have no clue what that could mean. So again, that just adds to the, the depth and the layers of this show, which is making it so good. So yeah, there's that. Uh, another element that I like that I'm interested that's intriguing me, but I have no clue where it's going. So we'll see. We got a little bit more of the new Guardians of the Globe. And Cecil, they left blood as a reminder for them not to get too comfortable. But I'm wondering, I don't, I don't think Nolan's, I want to say he's not that cold blooded, but I've, maybe he is. I don't think he would go after him this soon. Maybe he'll wait till they'll actually be like a challenge. Because if he went after him now, it's, it's a wrap. Rex can't do anything. Monster Girl can't do anything. Robot definitely can't do anything. And then the other three can't. I don't think we'll duplicate and then the the former guardian of the globe and then the chick in the green suit I, I freak i don't know her name so yeah we got man 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 i love it's it's not only the animation it's not just the the characters it's the depth it's the questions it's raising that's making me love it so much but and we're only four episodes. I know it's probably really condensed from the books because it's only eight episodes as opposed to, I don't know how many issues there were, but yeah, they're just doing a great job with this. I'm loving every second of it. Uh, an another week I gotta wait. Uh, another week to theorize, I guess, come up with some more thoughts. Yeah, we, like I said at the beginning of the episode, there's only so many options it could be as far as Nolan's motivations or what's going on with him my theory about Amber and Debbie I don't know I might have been wrong about that I saw Debbie wear some different jewelry she had like a little circle uh when they went to Rome so maybe that means nothing um Amber I have a feeling she's gonna die <laughs> at some point uh yeah I guess that's all I got for this episode really good one again four for four I was kind of hoping we got Thrag in this episode. We didn't get that, but I'm sure hopefully he'll come into play in future episodes. I just want this season to go on forever. <laughs> I'm loving it. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you keep commenting, liking, subscribing. You new subscribers, I see you. I appreciate you. And yeah, I'm really appreciating you guys who are commenting and giving me little tidbits on the show and letting me know what's going on with House Plumbing. So I appreciate that. Uh, keep on doing it. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.